Firstly, we just import the image. I am using the image in PNG format with transparent background. In this net shape process, I am referring to the guide on the side body profile as this character is in side view position. Next, we continue with the rig skeleton process. Please also refer to the provided guide in how to place all the points. Just to help you to be more understand in this process, I want you to know that the actor fitting process for four legs character is similar to human. Compare the circular marks. Next, we continue with the detailed body process. In this process, we will divide the body parts. To help you to understand more how to identify the body parts, look into the comparison between these four legs character with the human character. I will skip the tail in this process for now, but I will create the tail itself in other application such like GIMP or Photoshop. Don't be surprised that the body parts seem like to be messed up. We will fix it in the next process. Just click OK, then save it. I recommend to skip the face fitting, click no. Make sure you have clicked on the character, then you will be able to enter the composer mode screen.
identify the lower torso and assume that it's a midpoint of the body parts. Now, we proceed to position all body parts appropriately to each place and position. Actually, we need to click the Sprite Editor button to continue with this process. Try to position the body parts according to the character's actual image. Space out the overlapping parts. Once the positioning process done, please ensure the parts layered in the appropriate level. Now we shall continue with the touch-up process. Click the part you like to touch up, then click launch button on the left menu. In this session, I have assigned GIMP as the external image editor. The first thing I would like to do is to shape up the individual part according to my desired shape by using Eraser tool. To avoid clone image to spill out, please click the fuzzy tool, then click on the background, next right click and select invert. As you can see, the circle with cross inside it is act as a sample. It will return to the original spot when I release the left button.
Once satisfied with it, deselect the masking line. By using eraser tool, trim the edges. Next, I will save this part by exporting this part. Normally, the file is already exist in this crazy talk animator's temporary location. Just click export. Then, return to the crazy talk animator application and we will see the part has changed as what we have done in GIMP. Next, continue to touch up the other body parts. To be safe, just close the previous edited part and do not save it. Same as recent process, we will only use eraser, clone and fuzzy tools. Now, my character is almost complete. Let's place the rotation point of all parts. The red dot is the part rotation point. The last body part is the tail. Let's create the tail by using the GIMP application. Now open the original image of the character. Select the path tool. Save the tail in PNG format by exporting the image into any desired location. Now we are in the Crazy Talk Animator. Go to the Scene Manager on the right panel and select the part name tail01. Click the sprite editor button, then insert the tail 
from where we have saved the tail that we have made in GIMP. Select the tail and place it into the correct position. Now, our character is fully completed. Go to the Content Manager on the right panel, then add into the Content Manager and rename it. Next, let's exit this Composer screen and apply this to our stage screen. Just ignore this result. Select and delete this character. This is the real character that we have added in the Composer screen. Insert into the stage. Betul adik-adik, daun-daun hijau tu adalah makanan saya. Terima kasih adik-adik.